we are continuing our Marvel Marathon Madness with 2008 Punisher Warzone, based on the Marvel Comics character Frank Castle, starring the fantastic Ray Stevenson as the iconic anti-hero. This dark action film, based on the popular character, follows Frank Castle as he continues his spree as the criminal punishing vigilante. So, let us go ahead and jump straight into the plot. Having lost his family to mob violence, former Marine Frank Castle has spent the last five years as a vigilante known as the Punisher. We begin the story with Castle assaulting a party for a local mobster Giatano Cesar, where he kills him and his guests. Cesar's right hand, Billy Russotti, escapes to his recycling plant hideout, and detectives Martin Soap and Safioti, who were staking out the party, inform Castle. Castle then infiltrates the hideout, and after a brief gunfight, Rusodi is thrown into a glass-crushing machine that leaves him hideously disfigured. Rusodi, however, survives and starts but going by the name Jigsaw due to the stitches in his face that resemble puzzle pieces. Castle, who takes cover behind the body of Nick Donatelli, discovers that he was an undercover FBI agent. Now, following that, Agent Paul Bedinsky, the deceased agent's partner, joins the NYPD's Punisher Task Force, partnering with Soap to help bring Castle to justice. Meanwhile, Jigsaw frees his deranged and cannibalistic brother, Looney Bin Jim. Now distraught over the killing of the agent, Castle unsuccessfully attempts to make reparations to Donatelli's wife, Angela, and their daughter, Grace. He considers retiring, but his armorer, Microchip, makes him reconsider after telling him that Jigsaw will undoubtedly go after Donatelli's family for revenge. Jigsaw, Looney Bin Jim, and their two henchmen, Ink and Pitsy, break into Donatelli's house and hold the family hostage. Frank tracks down a known associate of Jigsaw named Magenti and executes him after extracting information before Badinsky and Soap apprehend him. Castle then tells them that Jigsaw went after Donatelli's family and Badinsky sends a police car to check on the Donatelli's residence, as he intends to turn the Punisher in. When the patrol car fails to respond, Badinsky checks on the house where Ink and Pitsy capture him. Soap then frees the Punisher, who kills both Ink and Pitsy before leading Angela and Grace away. Badinsky then arrests Jigsaw and Looney Bin Jim after a short gunfight. However, Jigsaw and his brother bargain with the FBI for their release by giving up Crystal Bullet, who was smuggling in a biological weapon destined for Arab territories and Queens. The brothers are granted immunity plus $12 million that Bullet was paying them to use Jigsaw's port. On top of that, they also give them a file on Microchip. They then take Micro hostage and kill his mother in the process. They once again take the Donatelli's hostage and after critically injuring Micro's associate Carlos, whose ca castle had left to protect them. Castle later arrives at the hideout, finds Carlos and at f because Carlos asks him to, kills him because Carlos did not want to go out like that. Jigsaw sets himself up in the Bradstreet Hotel, putting together a small army of gangsters that desire vengeance against the Punisher. Now Castle, on the other hand, enlists the help of Budinsky, who informs Christos' father, Tiberio Bullet, about Jigsaw's location. Tiberio's enforcers start a shootout in the hotel lobby, which affords Castle a distraction. Castle then enters through a second floor window, leading to a firefight with Jigsaw's men. Afterward, Castle engages Looney Bin Jim in a solo combat, and after realizing that he will probably not survive the brawl, Jim flees. Castle chases and confronts both him and Jigsaw, who are holding Micro and Grace at gunpoint. Jigsaw gives Castle a sadistic choice. If Frank shoots Micro, Jigsaw will let the others go free. Micro bravely offers his life to save the girl, but Castle shoots Looney Bin instead. As a result, Jigsaw kills Micro. Enraged, Castle attacks Jigsaw, engaging him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and later impaling him with a metal rod and killing him by throwing him into a fire. Outside, Angela forgives Castle, who bids farewell to Bedinsky and the Donatelli family. As Castle and Soap live together, Soap tries to convince Castle to give up his vigilante status after having killed practically every criminal in town. However, Soap later changes his mind when he is held up by a murderous mugger, and that mugger quickly becomes the next victim of the Punisher. Now, while this is a reboot of the 2004 Punisher film, it does not show the initial revenge tale of Castle going up against his family's killers, but rather continues the story five years 
into Frank's tale as the Punisher. Ray Stevenson, may he rest in peace, was a fantastic Punisher and a brutal vigilante. The violence and action were off the charts in this film and you can tell that Stevenson had a blast portraying Castle. Like with the previous film, this one was not exactly a critical or audience success and neither was it a box office hit. But nonetheless, the film did have its moments and was quite enjoyable at times. The film is chock full of brutal action and solid sequences and is quite fun here and there but the story and overall dialogue is all over the place. I would say that this is one of those movies that is bad but in a fun way. I am giving it a 4 out of 10 due to the lacking writing and overall plot that could have been substantially better with several enhancements here and there. Now the next video I will cover is 2007 Ghost Rider and following that will be 2011 Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. So stay tuned and please do consider hitting the like button and subscribing, I would truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for spending your time with me. Until our next adventure, y'all stay classy.